in today's double feature, we'll talk about miniatures. Okay, it's time we all understand this point. It's time to reject modernity and embrace tradition. I think nothing has really been more accurate to this point of view than when we look at the reveal for Warhammer that we had yesterday, I think. Yes, where we saw some models for Age of Sigmar, some new things like Epic 30k, and we had our first introduction to a Bretonian knight. And here's the thing. That Bretonian knight is a better model than anything that's complex and big that they might do for Age of Sigmar, or 40k for that matter. In my opinion, when it comes to miniature wargaming, the complexity of a model should be related to its position in the game. For example, you have your normal rank and file dudes, your peasant at arms, your space marines, your Eldar aspect warriors, your Necron warriors. Those things shouldn't really be that hugely detailed. They shouldn't have that many things on them. Then you have your Bigger characters. Characters like, for example, uh, what is it? A Praetorian from 30k. Why not? Well, you have characters that are more important. You have Primarchs for 40k, of course. And those should be, of course, more detailed. The Primarchs should be the most detailed, while the Praetorians are a little less so. But the problem is that Games Workshop seems to like putting a bunch of work into making things as big and as detailed as they can, which isn't a bad thing overall. At the end of the day, it's not really a bad thing overall. It is though a problem when this gets applied to all kinds of characters. The more details you put on smaller units, the more annoying it becomes to paint. And I think we should really forego that concept. Just forget about it. Forget about it, you know what I mean? and look into more interesting aspects. Have things that are easier to paint in batches, though I can understand that horde armies have their own issues with this. The less details you have to do on smaller rank and file things, the more easier it is to make an army. And also, of course, you can get more detailed models down the road. Problem is that whenever I look at Age of Sigma, all I see is Complicated details, needless things, tactical rocks, everything. And I'm not really a big fan of that. I've already mentioned that I don't like Age of Sigmar a few times already. Mostly for its lore, but some of the models look okay. Those that are not the Sigmarines, at least. The problem is that they always go into this over-detailed mode of being where it becomes more of a hassle to deal with. For example, the old Chaos Warriors were pretty nice, easy to build models. Sure, they weren't that complex and you can really pose them in different ways, but they were still pretty nice to build and you could use those legs for your own Space Marines at some point. I know, because I've done that. <laughs> Even the cape. Those models were pretty great. The new Chaos Warriors, also, despite the fact that they're also less in or fewer in the box, which is annoying and gritting compared to the old models, they also seem to be stuck with this highly detailed modeling thing, where they have these intricate things that, of course, put to shame their older counterparts, but, but, they add more details to a unit that should be rank and file, to a basic unit. And I don't think that's a good idea. I think that's really bad, and... It really creates a higher barrier of entry for this. Normal small units should be less detailed, should be easier to paint, shouldn't be that complex in dealing with stuff if you want to be, if you want to go all out on it. It should be easier to do, and that's why I think I appreciate some of the older stuff because the details aren't that complex, and then it just comes to your abilities, and you can get to practice on them. At the end of the day, the more details you put in a unit, the more annoying it is to paint. And I can tell you this, I have like two Praetorians from the Age of Darkness box. Only one of them is finished because I couldn't really care that much to finish the other one. It's the whole explosion of details that while it looks nice when you put it in the display case or something, when you want to prepare an army that's ready for battle, it really becomes annoying to do so. That's a huge issue. Most of all, we should look at 
coming back to the old traditional ways of having models, where things are easier to paint when it comes to their numbers and they get more complex down the road. Of course, this is something that can be very easily done now, and especially with Epic 30k, we can pretty much have a slight go back to that, though I'm expecting that uh, details on those tiny miniatures will be more annoying. <laughs> yeah, they will be annoying. Anyway, can't wait to get that. We should reject modernity. We should reject things like Age of Sigma that tries to make overly complex things and go back to tradition, to the old hammer things, the old ways of doing stuff, with less details but more characters that feel with life and personality, with more models that have soul, with more models that are easier to build and easier to paint and also cheaper to buy, but that's never gonna become a problem, that's never gonna be a thing anytime soon, especially with this hobby and the way prices are going up for it. Which is ridiculous, but that's a whole other discussion. Again, Jack Modernity, embrace tradition. Bring back the soul, bring back the easy to paint, bring back a lower barrier of entry for the hobby. Now, I can understand why for specialist game, for example, like Warcry or Necromunda, even Blood Bowl, and I like Blood Bowl, you know that, I can understand why the models would be more detailed in that, because it makes sense you only have a handful of things, you don't really have a huge army of them. You're not really forced to paint, I don't know, 50 Chaos Warriors for your game of Warcry, but I think you can probably make do with 10. So, that makes sense. And the problem is, when you transport the model from specialist games into the normal army game, that's when the problem appears. That's when the models become more detailed and become more annoying to deal with. Makes sense when you have something like a Death Watch, for example, in 40k, and they have a little bit more details compared to the normal Space Marine units. Doesn't really make that much sense when you have models with intricate details that are your basic rank and file things like you have in Age of Sigmar. Again, we have to reject the modernity of now and embrace the tradition of old. Less is more. And many times this is proven true, less is more, because when we have to deal with certain constraints, then creativity can show through. When we have to deal with certain constraints, then we can really work on improving something with what we have. A model can look good without having every tiny piece of detail on him be microscopic. Don't need to live like this. Anyway, this has been all. I hope you enjoyed it. and. I'll see you in the next one.